Hello, everyone. I think this is my first time going live on my public Facebook page, Nancy and Soul, and um, on YouTube. So you may be watching it any of those places as well. So if you're jumping on to the live, please um, say hello. I would love to know who is watching. And if you watch the replay later, um, do maybe hashtag purpose. All right, let's see if I can see myself on this page. Making sure. Going live on my Okay, page. perfect. So hopefully I will be able to I'm watch on my the page. comments, if any comments come through. Yay. All right, so the purpose of this live today um, I wanted to share a little bit about the archetypes and also my journey to becoming more aware. A lot of people have been asking about, and I've seen a lot over the years, but especially lately, about knowing more about their life purpose. And that's a journey that I've been curious about for hmm, probably at least 11 years, maybe even longer. I, maybe I didn't think about it so consciously before that, but certainly been in my awareness for a long time. So hopefully... This will also help give you some ideas, some insights, and some tools that you can start to understand a little more about your purpose. So first of all, our purpose is not a job necessarily, okay? Although you might use it as part of your job. So um, for those that don't know me, I'm Nancy Anger, and yes, my last name is spelled like Anger, A-N-G-E-R, and I'm an intuitive guide and master energy healer. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk a little bit about archetypes. So, what are what is an archetype? So, an archetype is basically like a universally understood pattern or um, that are contained in a collective consciousness. So, the human, it's like human share. A similar thing or a hero or a teacher or a politician or um, an advocate or there are literally thousands of them and I believe and was taught that um, and it's come to feels true for me is that we're each born with 12 primary archetypes and there are four that everyone has that are hi Dave he too uh, there are four that everyone has that are similar, and then there are eight that are very unique, and how those show up are going to be different for each person. Um, and for most people, it's also happening unconsciously, but it was probably about 10 or 11 years ago that I started to become more aware of my archetypes, and one of them is the guide, which is also, you might have noticed when I said um, part of what I do, intuitive guidance. And so one thing about archetypes is you're going to look back throughout your life and find a thread to them. So I was thinking earlier today, remembering when I was probably six years old as a small child in my grandparents' yard, I remember like imagining that I was teaching, like teaching the world. That was the image I had. I was like, could see myself like teaching. Um, and I was down in the woods. I don't even think, I don't know if any animals were listening, but and then throughout school, I remember helping kids. Like if somebody had a hard time understanding the math or understanding something else, I would help out. Hi, Fernando. Um, so I would help out um, and teach people. It was just automatically something I did and something that I loved to do, something I knew to do. And then so my first official job as a teacher was when I was 19 years old, I started teaching a, something called aerobic dancer size, right? You don't hear that word uh, too much these days, but that was the beginning of aerobics. And I remember um, going with uh, the teacher that I was learning from and helping her teach in this huge gymnasium. All these people were there and I could looked at someone and they were having a hard time. And I was actually able to just focus in on that person, get their attention. And so I used my, like my awareness and my energy and they were able to kind of tune into my energy and figure out what to do. And so um, later on in life, I um, started teaching yoga. I just, I kind of always knew that I liked to teach, but I did not understand that it was an archetype until, as I said, about 10 or 11 years ago. 
So, um, and if you notice, I've used that same archetype in many different ways throughout my life. And this archetype is the guide right now. Yes, part of it is a way that I, is part of my career path, if you will, but it's something I do all the time, naturally. I love to do it. It's just almost like I can't help myself. And if you know somebody, um, like actually my husband right now is in the process of trying to help teach someone to um, do some things in his business, to play, take over his role, and he does not have the guide archetype or the teacher. So he's going to have to find different ways to convey that information. So each person, you, whoever's listening now or later, there are ways that you, they're tools. I consider the archetypes, they're kind of tools in your backpack. And um, so think about some things that you really love to do or that you've just always naturally done. Um, another one of mine is athlete. And I didn't take that one on as one of my archetypes for a long time because I equated it with the term jock and I'm not a jock but I'm very athletic, hence why I was a teacher of fitness and a teacher of yoga. I brought together my love to guide, my athleticism, and then some of my other archetypes all came to play. And so, again, think about something that you naturally love to do. It could be, so if you're a mother or a father, so I think you guys are both fathers that are listening or whoever's listening later, if you have that father archetype or the mother archetype, you will naturally, actually my husband has that archetype. That is an archetype. There are people that, um, that that's like the primary thing that they love to do, be a parent. And they'll have all other archetypes that will come into play with it. Um, so let me know if something comes to mind for you as you are listening to this. Um, the other thing I'll share, so I did on Friday, I did a full moon meditation and activation. It's a um, guided journey that also will help you connect with and remember um, some of your gifts, right? So sometimes we take our gifts for granted, the things that we naturally do and love. We don't realize they're a gift because they come in a way so easy to us. So if you would like to re-listen to that guided journey right now, it's available if you're a member of the Nourished Soul. Um, I may change that and put it on YouTube as well, but I will post a link for that below. Um, yeah, so there's a quote that I love that's at the bottom of all of my emails, and it says, don't ask what the world needs ask what makes you come alive and go do that because the, what the world needs is people who have come alive and that's by Howard Thurman. So I hope this was helpful, insightful in some way um, and I invite you if you feel called to share it with others wherever you're watching, share it, um, let them know. I think as I said I hear a lot of people are like trying to figure out what their purpose is and so one other thing is, what do you love to do? What do you love to do? So think about it. All right, thanks for listening, and have a beautiful rest of your day.